Okay, now it's time to share a few tips about how to work on this etude. We'll have to talk about the left hand position, especially when you have to quickly go from one string to another. We'll have to talk about bow distribution and the way we move from one string to another. First of all, don't forget to work on this etude just playing one note per bow. It will take all pressure off your right hand and you will be able to master your left hand movements. I would suggest slow tempo, one note per bow, something like that. After you play the whole etude like this, well, not necessarily through, but a couple of measures at the time, over and over again, you can try to play with original bowings. It will be good time to start paying attention to the bow distribution, how much bow you are using for each bow stroke. Well, actually, we'll just have two kinds of bow strokes here. Two notes down bow and one note up bow. Probably after you start playing it, you will see that you end up in the upper part of the bow just after a couple of measures. Something like that might happen. Why did I end up at the tip of the bow? Well, I used the same speed of the bow when I played two notes down bow and one note up bow. In order to avoid this problem, you will have to spend as little bow when you play first two notes down bow as possible. And you will have to make sure that you have very clear beginning of the bow stroke. So the first note will sound as clear as possible. You see that in slow tempo I'm slightly lifting the bow with up bow bow stroke. The faster you play, the less of lifting you will have to do. Now let's talk about the left hand. In this etude, very often you have to go from one string to another using the same finger. If you try to lift the finger, that will slow you down and will might not even allow you to play any faster than very slow tempo. The common mistake will look like this. You see, first two notes are A and E in the first position. The best way to do it is to put the first finger on the G string to play A. And then when you have to play the next note, you just turn your finger this way. So for the higher note, you will be using the inner part of the finger. So the tip for lower note and then you turn your finger, you're making it flat. And this way you will be able to handle those two notes in much quicker, in more efficient way. Let's look at another example. Line number five, the third beat of the first measure. Here you are playing in the second position and you will have to figure out 
how to deal with C and F with the first finger. Again, the less you move your first finger between strings, the quicker and more secure you will be able to play. Let's try it. So what I did after I played C on the A string, I just rolled the first finger to reach F. You might do it in a slightly different way, but again, the idea is to avoid lifting of your first finger. Let me show it to you again. Try it. You might not feel like doing it at first, but later on, when you try to play it in a faster tempo, you might reconsider and put some effort to learn this technique. Dot Sour gives us an opportunity to work on string crossings. There are so many of string crossings you'll have to make to play this etude. Just make sure that your bow hold is flexible and that you remember that you have to adjust the bow angle for each string. And you don't have to do it a lot, especially playing in a faster tempo. You'll just have to remember to adjust it even the tiny bit, and that will make all the difference in terms of sound quality. Let me show you in a slower tempo. <laughs> Did you see that I played on the D string this way and when I moved to the G string I turned the bow? Again, not much, just a little bit. Work on it in a very slow tempo. And that will help you to use this technique in a faster tempo without even thinking much about it. Now it's time to work on Dot Sour Etude number 38 in slower tempo, quarter note 48. I will play it for you through. You can follow me alone, you can stop the video, rewind it back and practice few specific spots with me. Good luck! This is a really interesting etude and I'm sure you will be able to master it.